going on guys and welcome back to another video so what we got going today is the meanest slash dirtiest players ever against the so-called nice players so i've never met any of these guys personally i don't have a judgment i did a lot of research online and through what i found this these were the two teams that came up if you disagree with them i'm sorry blame bleacher report 100 just go send bleacher report an email say hey i'm not happy with some of your list john stockton this is first the dirtiest playing team. John Stockton will be at point guard. Kobe Bryant at shooting guard. Dennis Rodman at the power forward position. Kevin Garnett, which I think we can all agree. When watching him play against the Raptors, oh my gosh. He is not a nice guy. And they said even after, he said some terrible, terrible things. And then DeMarcus Cousins, I know he does a lot of good things uh, off the court and stuff. But on the court, he had some issues. Definitely recently, he kind of inspired this video. Uh, so now let's look at the opponent who they are going to be facing and this is the complete opposite. This is the nicest team. So you have Steve Nash. He was pretty much a consensus. One of the nicest guys ever. Chris Paul. I think we can all agree on that one. Kevin Durant. A little bit surprising, but you'd be amazed. He was number one on like three lists for the nicest player in the NBA. And I believe it. Uh, definitely not the most well-liked after his decision. But you've never really heard anyone say anything too bad about him before that. Tim Duncan. It makes a lot of sense. Definitely a great dude. A quiet guy, but probably one of the most respected and well-liked guys in the NBA. And then Dirk Nowitzki. So as you can see, I have two power forwards. So one of them is going to play center. How this challenge works, I will explain it once the gameplay starts. Okay, so let me explain to you guys, because like always, I do this every video. So if you watch every video, you don't need to hear this. This is how I do these challenges when it's two teams playing against each other straight up. I play the first bit, like the first half, as one team, the second half is the next. And we kind of tell from that who wins. Whoever wins the game, probably who the better team is. But right at the end, like I always say, go get your popcorn, go tell your parents. And I put a one minute quarter game on and you guys can just watch the straight simulation. But what I want you guys, everyone to do now, which I don't always do, drop your prediction in the comments. Everybody, if everybody watching does that, we'll be able to see an amazing like amount of comments with people guessing. Oh my gosh, Steve Nash. I, I thought Steve Nash was going to make predict. Who is going to win? I'm going to make my prediction. Actually, I'm not going to make a prediction because I don't want you guys thinking I'm throwing anything. Because why would I do that? I'm the one playing. I can't be making predictions. Uh, but leave your prediction down below. And while you're down there, you might as well drop a like. Uh, I'm just saying that's a shameless promotion for my channel. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry I had to do that. Okay, Steve Nash on John Stockton. John Stockton really kind of surprised me, but... I didn't ever see John Stockton play. I saw his son at Gonzaga. Like I saw his son playing a lot, and I never really like thought much into it. But apparently, John Stockton was an incredibly, incredibly dirty basketball player. Him and Carl Malone both. So I think a lot of people assume like Carl Malone's the bigger guy. He's just the point guard. He couldn't do anything wrong. But apparently, he was quite the guy. Like he would. There's pictures of him with like Steve Kerr with him in a headlock. Like it's crazy. It's a lot. It's definitely some shocking, he was the most shocking guy on that list. Everyone else, uh, I kind of knew. Kevin Garnett, yeah, I think everybody kind of knows. He's a great player. I'm not taking anything away from Kevin Garnett as a player, but not the most nice guy. And sometimes you don't have to be the most liked guy. Honestly, to win games, doesn't matter who the most liked guy is. The teams want championships. Okay, John Stockton, though, what an amazing passer he is. I got to get everybody involved here with him. I think I'm going to get him up the side. 3-0-2 win. Let me go ahead and get a pick. Pick and roll from DeMarcus Cousins. Hit DeMarcus Cousins in the middle. Pass it. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, DeMarcus Cousins a mismatch for everybody in the league right now. Like, he's just an absolute mismatch. And I I watch a lot of that Mike Corzemba. He thinks that he should get traded. I, I do agree with the fact that they, they the Celtics should try and get him. But, like, watching him, I've been trying to watch him more. Like, just trying to watch more NBA teams lately to get my knowledge up. Because I'd never say I was the most knowledgeable. I was always more of like an NFL guy. And I still watch the NFL, but I'm, I've been learning a lot lately. Okay, so stay on Chris Paul, Kobe. Don't let Chris Paul burn you. These are the good guys. And I kind of tried to simulate, like, show you guys, like, the difference between the good guys and the bad guys through their uniforms as well. By having, like, the so-called bad guys wearing all black and white and the good guys in the light, light blue uniforms. Let's get Kobe going. You know Kobe's an absolute animal. Oh, nice pass to Rodman. Rodman, you're killing me, man. Kobe just went out on a limb for you. Nice deal. Good stuff. Okay, pass it up to Kevin Garnett. Easy slam. It's going to be 10 to 2 for some points. Like, that. that's why I don't play. I used to do this on Hall of Fame difficulty. Oh, that was an ugly shot. That was a disgusting release. But then I was like, why would I do that? 
when I'm playing with both teams. We might as well have it a high scoring game when things happen. Uh, is that going to be, is that a timeout? Timeout by the good guys. Got a second here to wait. Okay, hands up here. Hands up on 21. Okay, that's passed into Chris Paul. Hands up. Oh, no. What am I, that didn't make any sense what I just did. What I just did was the stupidest thing any human has ever done before. Like, that was probably one of the dumbest things I could have done in that situation. I just completely left the guy who was driving to the basket. I got John Stockton, though, and he is a stud. Like, his passing stats are crazy. He's so easy to play with in this game. Uh, it's 15 to 4. Hopefully, I can keep them at 4 points. Uh, let's see. Hands up. Oh, that's good. Defense grab the rebound. Fast break to DeMarcus Cousins. Over to Kobe Bryant. Oh, this is nasty. This is an absolutely nasty game we're playing right now. 17 to 4, and these guys are just making plays. Like, they're absolutely just making plays. Okay, stay on Steve Nash. Don't let Steve Nash just bully us here. Stay right on him. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to allow a three. I have a bad feeling, guys. I have a bad feeling I'm going to allow a three here, but I'm going to do everything I can to prevent it. Everything I can to prevent it. What? Okay, Dirk. Oh, wait. Nice defense. Dirk's not going to make that. Even Dirk can't make that. Hey, so now we got the good guys here who are, I'd say, almost equally as skilled. Maybe not quite as much as the other team. Oh, Kevin Durant. Wide open three. Green release to start off. 17 to 7. Kevin Garnett was a huge asset for that team. Like, it took, he was the last guy I added to the roster. Because I was like, there is no, like, not saying like he's a bad guy. It's just it kind of surprised me that the whole, like, league and all the people would say that. Because of all the scrutiny he's been under lately. Oh my gosh, there's some good defense going on down right on down there right now. Okay, get up to Duncan. Duncan unfortunately does not have his like new version or like his prime version. He just has the one uh, where he's an 88 overall. Steve Nash, wide open. That's a nice release too. That's gonna fall. 17 to 10 now, and we are coming back. Cue the comeback, boys. We are coming back. They might have thought that was enough points. Or I might have thought that's enough points. So if you guys have the bad guys in there as your prediction, you might want to make a quick change. Okay, I don't know why I did that. Dirk Nowitzki in the corner. That's going to fall through. Is that a two or a three? That's a three. 17 to three, and we are just taking shots right now. Just absolute shots. Not a care in the world. This team does not have a care in the world. They're all just taking threes, and they're all making threes. Okay, DeMarcus Cousins. He's trying to set a pick. They're looking for him after the pick, though, to hit the three. I'm not going to let that happen. John Stockton in the middle. That's going to be Kevin. Oh, Kevin Garnett. He's a piece of work in the paint. Like, he is tough to stop. Okay, so stay out here on Stockton. Stay out here on him. Make sure they don't work. Well, they're only up by four, but four can be a lot. When there's only two minutes left, one basket, and they can be in pretty good business. Like, if they can go up by six at this point, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to lose this game. Oh, Durant. Durant, stop. Durant, I kind of wanted to take that, but I had a feeling there was a chance that we'd get blocked, and I wasn't really willing to take. Oh, what a pass! Whew! He can pass too, Stockton. 17, 19, I'm passing to Dirk. Dirk's gonna slow it down, try and get a little bit of an opening. Okay, wait. Who do I want here? Who do I want taking these crucial shots? Oh! Oh, I was trying to get it over to Duncan! I was trying to get it over to Duncan. Oh, steal! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Easy money. Easy money, Steve Nash. Put up the layup. 19-19. It's going to be a close finish. It is going to be a very, very close finish. Okay, watch Stockton on the inside. Kobe's going to try and force something, hopefully. Now, pass it down to Cousins. Demarcus Cousins, fade away. That's a miss. 48 seconds. I'm chewing the clock. Nine seconds. Let's go. Seven seconds. I'm giving Chris Paul... Chris Paul, the keys to the offense, nice passing down low. Tim Duncan is going to make it. That, that's some good passing. Hit Dirk on the outside, back in to Tim Duncan, 21 to 19 now. Stockton, I don't know why they're not taking threes here. I don't know why they're taking so long. John Stockton for three and he makes it. Oh my gosh, we're going to have an exciting finish. We are going to have an exciting finish. I, I'm, I'm going Durant. We're playing through Durant here. We're playing through Durant. Get him the pass. Get him the pass. Going. Oh my gosh. No. Back to Dirk. Two seconds left. Dirk Nowitzki. Fade away. Oh, and he can't make it. The heartbreaker. The nice guys lose by one. So according to this game, the like the dirtier, meaner team did win. So what we have now 
is the one minute simulation. Please, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like and a comment. God bless you guys. Merry Christmas. It's so close to Christmas. Wish your families a Merry Christmas for me, and I'll see you guys next time. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways and on. Turns the sun rays and on and on.